Hey everybody, welcome to another exciting Illustrator CS6 tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to apply colors. And I'm going to show you a whole bunch of different ways that you can do it. Some ways give you more control than others, and um, others are just really quick ways to do things. So the first thing you want to do is make a shape. Use your one of your tools here, a rectangle tool, or whatever you need to do. I used the polygon tool and just drew a shape out. Now you'll get uh, something with some color in it if you have it, colors already picked out, or you'll just get a white box and nothing will be there. Click on your shape, and then go up here into your uh, options panel up here, control panel, I think, and you can click on this left box with the arrow here, and you should have some different colors. You can click on these colors to change the fill which is the inside color of the object. Go ahead, click on it again, and to the right of it is called the stroke, and that's that outside line around the edge. You can click on this to change the different colors of the fill. Or of the stroke, my bad. That's the stroke. Now if you look over here on the tools panel, you can see that these uh, same two colors are filled in. So click on your object. You can change the colors from down here as well. This time, when you double click on the color, you get a color picker. You can start picking colors out that way. You click on the back one, it'll come to the foreground. That's the stroke. So I can change that to like some kind of black. And there, and now I have different colors again. Well, there's even more ways that you can do this. There's the swatches panel, the color panel, the color guide panel. Let's go over here to the color panel. And that's up here on this artboard. Click on that and here's your color panel. Well, we want to make sure this is selected. And we can see we can pick one of these colors here and that's for the stroke. Now if I click down here on the fill and then start picking a color, it's going to change the color of the fill. And you can tell which one is being picked on what's in the foreground. The stroke is always going to have this little square in the middle. And the fill's not. And you can see the hotkeys are X. If you press X, it's going to switch between those. And I'm pressing X right now. So that is something you can keep in mind if you just want to keep switching. The next one is the color guide panel. And this just gives you some shades and tints of different colors that you've got. Now you can pick more colors by clicking on here and coming down to some of these other colors. And then you've got all these different colors you can pick from. I gotta select my object first, and then I can pick one of these colors. And then if I press X, you'll see down here in the left, it'll switch. Now I can pick another color, and I've got the outside there. We got a couple more um, colors here from the member I picked down here. I went to scientific, I went to complementary, and I picked that, and it changed my colors. I can click on this here, and I've got a bunch of different colors as well that I can use. And these are like kind of like complementary colors. And if I come down here to, maybe I'll go to Art History, I'll go to Ancient. And now I've got some a new color palette. So it's just giving you different color palettes that work together. The next one we're going to show you is the Swatches panel. And that's this button here. And that's basically when I brought this down, this was the Swatches panel. And this is just going to keep some colors up here for you uh, to use. And here's a bunch of different kind of swatches. And then you can use swatches from this as well. Here's another set of swatches. If I, I clicked on Earth Tones and it brought it out here, I'll X out of that. But you can select the different swatches. Right now I'm on the fill, or I'm on the stroke. And if I press X and change, now I'm on the fill. And I can just pick from these. So there you go. You've got that. And there was one thing I wanted to show you again. Down here come in the bottom, you see this little arrow here? You can swap the fill and the stroke if you messed up. Click on your object, and you can swap them by cl clicking on this button here. 
And then if we press this button to the left, default fill and stroke, which is the hotkey D, it's just going to change it back to black and white. And that's the default. So there you go. Now you know how to apply colors like a professional. And that's it for this tutorial. You know all the, you know, a few different ways to apply color. And oh, I guess that's it for this tutorial. Give it a thumbs up if you thought it was good and you learned how to do uh, some new stuff. And I guess I just thank you for watching, you guys. It was, uh, it's great having you watching these and supporting the channel. Thanks a lot, everyone. Have a good day.